Hello, my name's Danny Sitton and welcome to Tip of the Week. Now we've all heard the expression, keeping, keep your eye on the ball, but what does it mean to keep your eye on the ball and how can we be sure we are keeping our eye on the ball? I'm going to give you one or, one or two little um, exercises to test whether or not you're keeping your eye on the ball. Next time you're hitting, every time you make contact with your shot, I want you to check and see whether on contact with a ball, you can see the ball through the back of the strings <clears throat> as you strike it. This does two things. Firstly, if you can see the ball through the back of the strings, you can be sure you are watching the ball onto contact with the racket. And secondly, in seeing the ball through the back of the racket, you can be sure you've got a contact point that's clearly in front of your body. So if you look from sideways on here, if I can see the ball through the back of the strings, I, I can know that I've got a contact that's clearly in front. Now, if you look at the two photos either side of me, Roger Federer is the best example of this. If you look on my right and your left, you'll see Roger on contact with a forehand. And again, this is a perfect uh, example of someone who's looking at the ball through the back of the strings as they strike the ball. And on his backhand, someone who's looking at the ball through the back of the strings on backhand contact points. It'll only be for a very small instant, but next time you're hitting, check as you strike the ball whether you can get a small photo shot of the ball through the back of the strings as you strike the ball. That's this week's tip and see you soon. Thanks very much.